Storytime, brought to you by Mini. Hello, I'm Kerry, and I'm going to tell you a story all about a cat who lived in Dover Castle, a cat called Henry. Henry was the Dover Castle cat. He loved the castle because it was the perfect place to play chase with his friend Adrian Mouse. They were running around the Roman lighthouse one afternoon when Adrian did something rather surprising. He vanished into thin air. Henry was still trying to work out what had happened when Adrian reappeared. That's cheating said Henry. I was just about to catch you and win the game. It's not cheating, said Adrian. I have a superpower and that makes me a superhero. Since when were there superheroes at Dover Castle, said Henry. The Avengers visited not so long ago, said Adrian. He was right, but Henry still found it hard to believe that his friend was now a superhero. And you can be a superhero too, said Adrian, because it's this place. It's anywhere there's been a lot of history. If you shut your eyes and imagine all the amazing things that happen there, kazoom! You can go back in time. Like in the Great Tower this morning, I was imagining what it would be like to meet the king who built it. And all of a sudden, there I was, in front of King Henry II himself. Good name, said Henry the Cat. What did he say? Eek! said Adrian. I don't think he liked mice. But I do a lot of imagining, said Henry, and I've never gone back in time. Maybe it's easier for mice because we're so small, said Adrian. You're bigger, so you might have to imagine a bit harder. Henry shut his eyes and imagined as hard as he could and then even harder still. There was an odd, fizzing feeling in his fur, and when he opened his eyes again, the world around him was transformed. The lighthouse wasn't lumpy and old. It was covered with shiny new stone, and at the top of it, a fire burned so brightly it could be seen for miles around. It shows the fleet where the harbour is, Adrian explained, pointing to the many mighty Roman ships moored below. Henry had done it, imagined himself 2,000 years back into the past. It gave him the idea for the best game ever, a chase through time. That's really cool, giggled Adrian. I'm coming to get you, Henry called out, and Adrian shut his eyes and vanished. After a bit more hard imagining, Henry opened his eyes to find himself in the Middle Ages. He saw Adrian running towards the stone walls of the castle. Henry set off after him. He was just about to catch his friend when... Razor-sharp arrows thudded into the ground around them. The French are attacking the castle, cried Adrian. And it looks like their archers are reloading. Quick! Let's hide in the secret wartime tunnels. But they won't be built for another 600 years said Henry. Adrian liked the idea of putting several centuries between them and those French archers. But when they arrived, there were running feet everywhere. They had to zigzag around to keep from getting trodden on. It's like everyone's playing chase today, said Henry. Then Adrian realized, it's Dunkirk! And he went running out onto the cliffs. Henry hurried after his friend and looked down at the harbor. It was full, not with Roman ships this time, but little boats crammed with weary-looking Second World War soldiers. There's been a chase all right, but it wasn't a game, said Adrian. The terrible enemy across the sea chased those soldiers until there was nowhere left for them to run to. The enemy were getting ready to pounce when the clever people working in these tunnels sprang a surprise. They organised a fleet of small ships to snatch the soldiers out of harm's way at the last minute. That's why I love this place. Because it's the perfect place to play chase, asked Henry, reaching out a paw. He was just about to win the game when Adrian said, Because it's the perfect place for a last minute escape. And before Henry could stop him, he'd vanished again. 